Well, guys, let's go get ourselves the item from this toad house. We'll see what we get. What? Oh, what shall we get? <gasps> Another leaf. I'm having a lot of luck. I normally don't have near this amount of luck when it comes to these houses. It's been pretty good so far, not gonna lie. Alright, I probably shouldn't have done that because I have to scroll the screen back later. But, uh, let's use ourselves another one of these many stars I have. I don't really use them for anything. I don't know the levels to chain them in. I never pay much attention to that. So I just use them to take out Hammer Brothers most of the time. It's a nice cheap way to deal with stuff. And I got a star for a star, so that was a waste of bloody time. Whee! There's another one. Well, first things first. End spading it up. Alright, so we got a mushroom and a mushroom. We got ourselves a star, so that's a star over here. And that is a flower, so that is a flower. And that is a 20 coin. Alright, I think Brian up here? No, that's the one up. One up here? No, the 20 coins there. Okay. Um. Uh. Mushroom. Mushroom? Ooh, I like it. One up, so that's easy. That's a one up. Um, flower. Uh, flower. Damn it. <laughs> oh well. Good news is, I did just get a uh, star or two, so let's uh, go massacre some people. No one likes you. And you get less points for doing that, so if you're a point whore, then don't do what I'm doing. It's a waste of your time. Wow, look at Merritt. He gets some serious height on those hops. All right. Let's go into 4-5. Hey, turtle man, turtle man, turtle my bit. Well, goodbye, turtle guy. I'll kick you down after your friend. <laughs> I'm such a jerk. I am a jerk. Yes, I am. Hey, you're not supersized. What kind of rip... Oh, these are, um, um, missile bills, I believe the name is. Instead of bullet bills, they fire out once, and then they come flying on back in. Alright, alright. Oh, crap, that was dumb. Come here, missile bill. Oh, that was even dumber. Can I go for three in a row for the triple dumbness of dumb dumbassery? Shoot, my man, shoot. No, I did it, thank God. Because I was being really stupid on my part. And Tanuki suit! It's a Tanuki suit. You should grab Tanuki. Anyway, when you hit that switch, you go out here and you'll get a chance at all kinds of great coinage. Oh, you guys gotta be careful though, jumping in here. It's a little dangerous. Whoa! They're gonna hit me! Oh, no, they're not. By holding down and B, you can become a statue that's invulnerable. Like so. Oh, you jerk! It didn't fire the first time, and then as soon as I jump up, it shoots. Al, you might say that even though I'm not one particular person who does Let's Plays on YouTube, the curse of the Tanuki suit is alive and well, isn't it? Hey, look, I would have got the ship if there was any more guys to get, and this is Worlds 1, 3, 5, and 6. Ha! <laughs> Coincidences, I love it. It's so pretty. Anyway, we're just doing that because I don't want to listen to the, uh... Oh, he can fit through there. Good for you, fatty. I just do that because I didn't want to listen to, uh, the same old music. And there's the one up in here. And hey, it came my way, too. That's even better. This world has doors set into it, which sets up for you to be able to shrink and grow, uh, the, uh, enemy. Because you go from, like, giant world to, like, normal world, which is unique. Makes you wonder if they were planning to do this with, like, all of the, uh, levels, maybe. Or it was just some gimmick they thought up for one level. That is more or less how Nintendo does things. They have always been about the gimmicks. Alright, anything in here? Anything? Anything? Was this a waste of my time? That I just waste a star doing nothing? I did. Perfect. Whoa! Well, I found one up. Oh, God! Well, I found death. <laughs> I'm not sure I was even aware that existed, to be honest with you. <laughs> wow. That is what the French call the disappointing. 
I was really, really reckless of you. There was no reason to do what I just did, and I got away with it. Other than impatient. You're going to say, how possibly could you not have hit him? Well, here we are. I managed not to do it. Unbelievable. Alright, let's uh, actually make better use of things this time. Yeah, I knew he was going to do that. I must have run into that once upon a time. Now, here's where you can watch you to go back to Giant World. But I think there's another one up to be found if you go looking. Uh, there's another one in this area somewhere. But I'm really not sure. Maybe right here? Nope. All right. I could swear there's one more one up in this level, but I do not remember offhand where that might be. Oh, I guess I must have missed it. Oh, well. Hey, buddy. I actually just ran into him because I didn't want to cut down on my running speed so I could get the second star card there. That is what you call incredible laziness, my friends. Incredible. Its contents will help you on your way. All right. Bingo, another Tanuki. Nice. I'll have to remember to use some of these special suits as I go along. I'm usually pretty good for using items, as you can tell, but I often make it a point to just use the lesser ones because you can replace them so easily. So the end spades pop up so frequently. All right, donut lifts over lava. This is what you call a dick move, Nintendo. Total dick move. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Okay, so how are we going to do this? Like so? Yeah, that works for me. you got to get a bit of a running speed for that. You think you could do it from right on the donut lift, but it's not the easiest thing. You know, this could be a bad idea. So, you see how there's kind of a shape of a door down here? That just tells you there's a door there. You can go into that door at any point. And you can, uh... You can actually press up into it without ever hitting the P-switch. It's just, uh, how it is. So this here is kind of a preview for... World 7, because there's a few levels like this in World 7. This is a completely hidden pathway that eats up a lot of your, uh... That eats up a whole lot of your uh, time in this particular uh, fortress. Because if you just go the normal pathway, which I was on, I was like over halfway to Boom Boom on that pathway. There was just a little bit left to do. Ah, oh, that was a poorly jumped jump. And all you do is you just jump and it changes the direction of your arrow left. It's as simple as that. And I think I actually, did I need flight? There might be some bonuses up here I need a flight for, but they weren't exactly forthcoming with the, uh, the flight bonus. Or is there blocks? There are blocks. There we go. There we go. And we get ourselves a, not quite a blue one up, not quite a green one up. It's a different variation of the same color, really. Yeah, I could fly and get up there, and guess what? I can't. There's like, I think, 30 coins up there. It's not exactly a huge deal if you can't fly and get up there. So, not going to worry about it. And then you're back into the regular area. And you again, you could dry bone stomp here probably if you really, really needed to for one-ups, but seems kind of risky with a roto disc, honestly. Ah, uh, you can, I'll give him a chance. Okay, I'm not going to give him a chance. I'm just kidding. I was just going to let him come to me and use the side of the screen as a safety measure. Oh, I am so tricky-dicky-doo. I love it, too. You know what? I almost forgot about the spade. That would have been embarrassing to miss the spade, because we're on a one-spade winning streak. In fact, I'm feeling so confident. Let's go for a star this time. Here we go. We got it. Oh, we got this, guys. It's so much on lockdown. It's so much on lockdown. Look at that. I totally didn't lock it down. I think there's actually a different timing to the third one if you're trying to get a special one on the bottom. It's, like, reversed or something. I don't know. I've never been very good at it, needless to say. Oh my god, it's a Dinobot, or a dinosaur. What kind of what kind of dinosaur would that be? I mean, it's got a crown stuck to its head, but that could just be like protrusions of bone for as far as I know. Anyway, Mario, take down the airship. You can do it, buddy. I have faith in you. This place is a good one to have a Tanuki suit for, because all of these, these exhaust ones are here. The fire exhaust is loose and wild air, and you can use the Tanuki suit to stomp them and kill the flames. So it's not a bad thing to have. There's a few spots in this place that are... I'm not going for those coins. Or do I have to go that way? I can never remember. Ask her. That's only eight coins. It's not worth the risk of my time. 
And going this way is probably not actually the smartest way to do this, but I am going to do this just to get it across the top, and oh yeah, we're fine. What do I get for going across the top? Anything? Do I get like a bonus or some sort of easier pathway? So far, it doesn't look all... <laughs> Hello, Rocky Wrench. How's it going, buddy? Come on. Come out of there again. I dare you. Come on. Come on. I'll slap you in the face with my tail. All right. We're Raccoon Mario. It's weird they gave me a raccoon power-up on a uh, on an airship. That's an unusual choice for them. Uh, I'm, like, deloading it. That's pretty awesome. So we're up top again. Now, this is actually a hard spot to jump through here. I'm trying to get your way through this little set. Of, well, not this one. Sorry. Maybe it's the last set I'm thinking of before the... Uh, the cabin with uh, our, our uh, Koopa here. And just like with New Super Brothers Wii, I really have no idea what the name of the, the Koopas are. Eh, almost. As a kid, I always thought this was a door to like a secret area. Every time. No. Alright, so what do I gotta do? So it shoots. No, get out of the way! Okay, I made it. Bonus. And this is also an oddity. This is the only airship that I'm aware of that gives two power ups. And again, it gives a leaf, which is strange. Most, all of them, will give you, um, flowers. But whatever. This guy has crazy hops, if I recall. That's like his, his power. Oh, look at that. I kicked his ass anyway. Let's get the wand. Nope. Touching the ground. When are you guys gonna learn? And I got a little tail wipe to go with it. A little sound to see us off into the sunset. It's really kind of sad that the whole airship just dis dissolves around them. Like, think of all those rocky wrenches that are falling out of the sky right now, splatting all over the mushroom land uh, fields. Whoa. Dude, you should have been the guy in charge of desert land. I'm just saying. I'm not saying, I'm just totally saying. Here's a letter from the princess. And it's probably going to have some horrible racist things in it. She's a racist. I don't know if you're aware of that, princess. Huge racist. The thief who stole the whistle escaped to the east side of the sand dunes. At least that's a decent clue for next time you play through the game. She tells you about one other whistle in the game. That clue was so terribly worded you'd never figure it out. Seriously. Anyway, let's take our P-Wing and move on to World 5, Skyland. I'm not seeing much sky. But I am Jones and the Tunes. <laughs> 